Hello fellow Wixers, Michael Patrick Schrock here from Wix Training Academy and today we are going to be working in the Wix checkout process here in Wix stores. If you're just joining us, welcome in. Hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any videos in this Wix e-commerce mini-series. If you're coming back, thank you for joining us again. Hit that like button, comment what you've enjoyed so far on the series and what you'd like to see upcoming. Tomorrow we're actually going to dive into Wix code plus Wix stores, so that's going to be an exciting duo. Before we jump into anything, guys, head over to the brand newly designed WixTrainingAcademy.com, link in the description below, and go through, become part of the academy here by clicking that register when the light box pops up. Everything's completely free, webinars, courses, training content, all of it completely free, so just go register today. All right, guys, so let's hop into the actual video itself. So we're going to focus on the checkout process, and what I mentioned in the introduction video of this series is the checkout process has to be uh, easy, it's got to be clear, and it's got to be smooth. If you could hit those three things, you'll start to minimize the people that abandon cart during your checkout process for your Wix stores, e-commerce store, whatever that may be. Um, so we need to really focus on that. Wix has done a pretty good job of making this easy for us and making that checkout process fairly clear and fairly fairly simplistic. So I'm going to show you more than anything how to tweak it and how to customize it today so that way you don't run into any issues with people dropping it. So before we actually do it, let me show you what it would look like if we actually added a product to the cart and went through the checkout process as it stays right now. So we go to our uh, shop page. I'm going to press preview here. And we have a product here. You have a quick view. If you click that, it'll pop up just a quick view of the product. If you remember correctly, I added this. I called it cool product. And we will just say Michael because I'm pretty sure I made this mandatory last time. And then we'll click add to cart. We have to select the color first. We'll select black. And then I'm going to click add to cart here. You can then see it adds the cart right there. And as soon as it's added to the cart, it shows the pop up of the cart. So this is already step one of a good checkout process. You want to make it very clear when someone adds something to their cart that they know where the cart is and they know how to access it. So they know it is now added right here to this sidebar and if they wanted to check out right now they could click view cart or they could put the cart back just like that and they see their little shopping bag right here. And if they click the shopping bag it'll open the cart back up. Let's continue on and pretend we're going to check out with this. So we then click view cart and then Wix does a very good job of making it very clear, again, what they're checking out about. Here's another dual thing that I like that Wix does. Wix offers both a checkout button at the top of the page where the product is and at the bottom of the page where the product is. So people are very clear about where they need to click to actually proceed with checking out. If they wanted to scroll down and see anything else about the product, enter a promo code, maybe add a note to it, shipping, change any information there, they could just click check out up here. But if they know that everything's correct, they would just click check out up here. And you can see that it's got the product right here in my cart, it shows the quantity, it allows you to change the quantity, maybe we want two now, and the price will change corresponding to whatever that quantity is. If you wanted to add a promo code, you would apply it right here. We don't have any promo codes on the site right now. Or if you wanted to add special instructions or a note, you would add them right there. But say we wanted to proceed, we would press checkout. And then right now, what you need to understand is you have to connect a payment method to your Wix website in order for the person to actually check out. So what would happen next is it would pop up with the credit card information page where they would put in their credit card or PayPal information and it would allow them to then move forward in checking out. And that's the last step of the process right there. It shows them their cart here. It shows them an order preview on checkout page. But we're going to go over how to actually add your payment method in tomorrow's video. Excuse me. So Wix code, Wix stores will be on Wednesday. Tomorrow's video will be the Wix administrative work. And that's where we'll discuss adding payment information, adding business information, adding store, tax, shipping, all of that good stuff. So all the business administration stuff within your Wix stores. And I'll show you how to do that. But for right now, we're just going to X out. And that's where the checkout process will take us. You can see it's very simple, very easy to do. Now we actually have to go ahead and edit it, right? So we're in our cart page here. This is the page. The pages you really need to focus on are two pages for this process. You need to focus on, well, obviously the product page, but we're going to go over the manipulation and customization of the product page when we talk about Wix code. 
and how that integrates and how we can now change around the product page. We're not going to focus on that right now. But what we are going to focus on is the cart page and we're also going to focus on the thank you page. And this is the message they see after they click check out pay now. So this is also something you're going to want to customize. And depending on what you've got selling on your store, you may want to upsell on this page. You may want to change the information a bit. And I'm going to show you how to customize that and do that. So we're going to go to cart page for right now. Um, first things first, if you want to change the cart icon up here, you click on it and then click settings. And you could choose out of these icons what one you would like your cart icon to be and you could change the font and you could change the color of the icon plus the font and if for some reason you wanted to reset it you would just press reset to original design so maybe I want to change the cart to the basket and maybe I want the icon of the basket to be let's see well it doesn't want to change right now so we're not going to focus on that right now I'll change the font for right now um, we want it to be Roboto bold and then that's exactly how you would change the actual icon you can normally change the color it looks like it's being a little buggy right now it happens from time to time that's okay if that does happen to you save your work X out of the editor and get back into it it does happen on occasion uh, next is the mini cart so this is what pops up on the side of your screen so if you wanted to change the text on that you could change it to my cart you know what what the cart message would say if it was empty so if they didn't have any products added in there you can see it right now it says cart is empty and then if they wanted to view their physical cart like we did in that checkout process you could say view cart or even check out if you want them to go straight into checkout that's completely up to you and your store settings and then you have the settings so you can have uh, this little icon either open to that mini cart that pops out on the side like I showed you or you can have it open straight to the full cart page which is where we had them click when they clicked uh, view cart that's what opened up there either of the two it doesn't really matter you just want to make it very clear where your user has to click in order for you to move forward in the checkout process that's the biggest thing you want it to be clear and concise and then you can manage that right here by managing your payments in your store that's how you edit this cart now to actually edit your physical cart page you would click settings and you can actually come in here go to settings you could choose what's displayed on your cart so our delivery uh, rates displayed like they were it showed that we were in Missouri and it showed what the shipping cost was it was free right now it's set to free shipping I'll show you how to change that in tomorrow's video you could add tax costs on there and then this is where you actually get to manipulate and change the design of the cart page maybe you want the background color of the page to be different maybe you want the fonts on the page to be different in different colors Maybe you want the style of buttons to match the rest of the buttons on your website. Maybe it's a more rounded open design, or maybe it's a more rounded closed design, in which case you could change the color of that. You can change the uh, border of it. And then finally, you can change the, the text font and color again down here for the product items and all of that good stuff, um, plus for the button. So this text font button is for the checkout button down below so whatever that looks like best for your website is what you need to do there um, you got to make sure it consistently flows with the overall design of what you've got going on on your e-commerce store and last but not least you have the general text information so this is what they see in the cart you can see we saw all of these messages when we had a product physically in the cart so one what is your page title is it gonna be my cart is it gonna be you know checkout what, what does that look like the continue link is it going to be right here you'll see that continue shopping so this gives people the ability to go back into the store so that way they can keep shopping um, what's the text when the carts empty cart is empty that's very simple it's very clear for people and then you have your full cart text so when it popped open we remember it said the promo code we had the note we had the special instructions and this correlates to the note link right here so this is what's in that box and then you have the actual checkout button you could add a disclaimer if you want to add a disclaimer if there's like no returns or anything like that you can add that straight to this page right here and just like that you can edit and manipulate the cart page and it's very clear very simple now that's really the only customization in my mind you have to do to this Wix stores uh, cart page I don't think you have to get crazy in depth with adding a whole bunch of bells and whistles again the more clear and concise you keep it the better conversions you're gonna have from people going from your cart to the checkout process and the checkout process to physically paying 
But what you do want to focus on too is your thank you page. And when people see this, some store owners like to just think that this is just an easy going, okay, thank you, and then it has the buyer's name right here. But this thank you page can actually be used to benefit an upsell um, just depending on how you manage it. So if you click settings here, uh, one, you can go through, you can change all the designs again, just like I showed you in the last one with the cart page. The same process applies with the fonts, the colors, and then you have the text. So this is the title and the subtitle. Um, so obviously, you can see what the title is. It's thanks for shopping with us, by your name. The subtitle is hope to see you again soon. It can show the order number, the total cost, the shipping to, all of that good information. And then you can actually manage it in the back end. Um, so you can manage the store, you can create new products, collections, but ultimately what it shows here is it shows your uh, your individual's order number, it shows the total of their order, and it shows exactly where it's shipping to. And it pulls all of this information straight from their account right here, which we can go to by clicking My Account. And this is where they can actually update their account information, they could update a credit card that goes in their wallet. If we click My Wallet, you can see it allows you to save cards in here. Again, we haven't actually entered a physical card yet, but your buyer would be able to if they created an account. Now, if they check out as a guest, they would just simply go through the checkout process and you can assign it, and I will show you that in the administrative. But that's how you actually edit and physically change the look and feel of the cart page and the actual thank you page on our shop. And it's that simple. Guys, if this video helped you out, drop a like down below. Comment if you enjoyed it, if it helped you out, and if you're looking forward to the next one. If so, what are you looking forward to? And then don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss the next part of this mini-series as we have the bulk of stuff coming up between tomorrow's administrative. There's a lot we're going to go over. And then the Wix... Uh, code Wix stores combo. There's a lot we're going to go into with that between reviews, um, adding a wish list, that type of stuff. So make sure you do not miss that. You're not going to want to. It's going to be really exciting. It's going to be really fun. Thank you guys for watching this one, and I will catch you on tomorrow's video. Remember to head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. Link in the description below. Thank you.